Thank you for joining the top eight security blind spots in your SaaS environment. My name is David Politis, founder and CEO here at Better Cloud. First question, what is a blind spot? When we, when we talk about these top eight blind spots, what are we talking about? And it's, it's a hidden threat. It's something you did not know existed. And there's really no way to get visibility into that until it happens. That's why it's a blind spot. And in your in these SaaS environments, whether you're running one SaaS application or a hundred, it really doesn't matter. These blind spots are very similar across the board. There's some dangerous ones. There's some other ones that you just aren't aware of um, that that may not be dangerous per se, but are impacting your environment. Um, and we're going to touch on all of that today. And and but but this is not. This is not the first time that there have been these kinds of blind spots in environments like this. If we think back to the late 90s when email started getting delivered to personal mobile devices or mobile devices in general, and when people, employees just started getting access to corporate data on mobile devices, this was not really possible until the late 90s. And when, when that started happening, there was so much just excitement. I, I I remember people talking about how how that changed th their way of working, and they could now work from anywhere and all the time. And from this mobile device, it was crazy. I mean, these are just some of the headlines from that period of time. But if we try to rewind to that, employees were just ecstatic, and and it really did make a, a massive change to productivity in my in my perspective. We almost can't think back to the time when we weren't able to receive our email all the time on any device it's it's hard to remember that but that was that was amazing and it i think in a lot of cases the technology was touted as this is amazing and thank you it for bringing this to my to, to our company and this is really going to help but then you start looking at some of the headlines that were coming out early 2000s and as we hit that tipping point of adoption and and as it as this became a, a an attack vector that uh, people were aware of um, and had become sophisticated enough to take advantage of, you start seeing some of these types of headlines, and you start seeing, okay, great, well, that's amazing that these Blackberries, you know, are getting email and people can 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 get back to people at any time on vacation anywhere they are without their device there, but but then you start having real problems, and these problems, of course, are coming back onto IT. And this this is around the time that you start seeing the MDM vendors uh, and EMM vendors start start uh, starting, you know, being founded. Um, you, you start seeing this new breed of companies, companies like AirWatch, for example, um, that focused on how do you secure these devices? How do you make sure that the data living on these devices um, is, is in our control? Um, and, and I feel like that that is happening again and and this this is all re repeating itself which is which is generally the trend in IT right you're going to these cycles they just they repeat themselves and we're going through that cycle right now you see the adoption of saas you know 2008 2009 you start seeing th this really pick up and these amazing headlines this is going to change the way people work and my employees can now collaborate and innovate together and there's all these new technologies and and it's best in breed and people are starting up there's thousands of tech startups every year because it's e easy to create these very specific uh, micro solutions for a specific problem and it's 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 amazing I, and again, I, I like I said in the beginning, I mean this as sincerely as I can. I, I'm a huge believer in what SaaS can do to an organization. I, and I push everyone I speak to, to, to if you're not really leveraging SaaS, adopting SaaS applications, um, building out that environment to do that because it's going gonna, it's gonna to make them look like heroes. But again... There are a lot of challenges that come with that. And so now, after for the last five years, however long it's been, six, seven, this adoption has been increasing and increasing, increasing. And there's more applications. And there's companies like Slack that weren't even on the radar seven years ago. And all of a sudden now are the de facto for companies' chat and collaboration. You start seeing that and you realize, okay, there's, there's challenges that are coming with that. And there have been a couple of public breaches, uh, uh, you know, that that have happened in the last 
12 months that are related to these new open platforms that end users have a lot of control and you're, you're, you're giving the power to them and they're bringing people in from outside the company to work on stuff together. And there's been a couple of breaches, but it really hasn't been as public as what we see um, in the companies that we engage with. And that's a big reason why we're sharing this today is because we're seeing this in a way in our in in with the with the our community and the customers and the companies and the IT professionals we engage with we're seeing it at a pretty alarming rate that there there are these blind spots and there are these unforeseen challenges that are there that um that that could cause some serious damage and and we feel um we, we've been doing this a lot the last couple of months trying to get this information out there um to, to get ahead of it